Hello, welcome to the coffee barn. Come in with the rail. You can see the barn's about 2,500 square feet inside for, for guests to come in and for a reception. Um, we have the capacity for about 150 people inside the barn. Um, these tables are five foot round tables. They'll see 18 people a piece around the tables. You can also do nine or 10 chairs around them if you like. Uh, so we have 15 of this size table that will accommodate 120 guests. We also have five smaller tables that we can put in the barn to get up to 150 guests at the round tables. We have 150 of these white vinyl chairs to have inside the barn for the reception. We also have 150 white metal chairs outside for the ceremony so you don't have to, to carry chairs back and forth between ceremony and reception. We'll see those here in just a minute. We have plenty of tables to put food on. You can see our food display over here on top of the barrel tables. We do have five of the George Dickel barrels. The table with the round top on it here is usually used for cake. Um, quite often it stays in this corner. That top is bolted to the barrel so it's not gonna slide around or move around. We do have a spotlight highlighting this corner for photographers to get a good, better picture. These tables are two doors that we painted black to sit on top of two barrels. So you can use them like this and have the food on here or you could take the top off of the, the barrels and then move the barrels around and use them to decorate with. We've had people put flowers on top of them and have them in the ceremony side or have them outside of the ball. Up front, we have one of our wooden tables that has been popular lately to use for a sweetheart table. It's how it's set up right now. Um, you can use this for the for sweetheart table. We've had it used for gifts and drink stations, things of that nature. In the opposite corner is our flat farm table that can be used for food. Uh, you can use it for gift station, drink station, different things like that. Those are kind of some of our options for, for food. We also have two speakers, like this one in the corner, so you can use them for your audio equipment. Uh, we have the plug-in, the plug-in and iPad like we have now. Uh, there's a wired microphone with it also, so you can use those outside and inside for reception sound and ceremony sound. The white table display on the wall, you can move that stuff around and decorate it however you like. Put your pictures up there, make that your, your personalized area. A lot of the decorations we have in here now are ours, so they should be here and available to use. The wood cookies that are on the tables, we have enough of those for all 20 of our chairs, tables. We have a decorations room where we keep all, store a lot of our extra decorations that people have left us, so we can go down there in a minute and look. All of the tool and the lights that are in the barn right now stay up, so the tool on for the big, door will be up. You also have the tool and the lights in the ceiling. The main lights are dimmable so you can have the main lights down and have the white string lights up still. It's hard to tell. Yeah. We do have two restrooms in the corner over here. Uh, they're single person restrooms so they're, they're unisex. In this corner of the barn, we have a full kitchen. So sink, stove, refrigerator, microwave is all here and available to use. We have a coffee maker, commercial coffee maker in here that you can use. We do provide coffee and filters for that. We'll have garbage bags here for the garbage cans. We also have some paper towels and we'll have toilet paper here for the bathrooms. Let's go outside and, and take a look at the porch. We have a covered porch out here, so you can use it for rain or shine. Uh, here for people to hang out around. In the corner is our bar area. 
where you can put drinks or if you want to do alcohol drinks you can do them over here we have three four galvanized tubs that you can use to put drinks in uh, the washing machine we've turned into a cooler by draining it through the floor so you can use it to put drinks in and ice down drinks you can see we have some different sizes of the wood cookies different thicknesses and we keep the others our extras back here we do have some rectangular tables that you can use if you need to make a big table for the wedding party to sit at On the opposite end of the porch is our, our ski lift swing. So you can use that to, for a photo booth area. You can do some photo booth props and have people take their pictures there. As far as ceremony sites, we do have two areas that we have had commonly used. One is the big open field down by the red barn. We've had people stand in front of that window and use that as a backdrop for their ceremony. We've also had people move the ceremony up the hill halfway between the two buildings so that it's a shorter distance for the bridal party to walk down there. Our most common area for outside ceremony is behind the barn. been here before you can see that there's some changes back here we have put gravel and some different landscaping back here so these are our white vinyl chairs or metal chairs to use outside so we do have 150 of these we'll bring out the morning of the event and then you would have your your workers set them up in whatever pattern you you choose the ferns are ours they should be here also as long as it's not super cold weather There's three different ways to set up out here. One is the way it is set up now with the, the couple standing in front of the windows in the barn and getting using this as a backdrop for their ceremony. So guests are facing this way like we have set up now. The other way is to turn guests to face this direction. And then you have, you would stand up there and you have the hay rake and that barn as a backdrop for the, for the ceremony. Or you can turn around to the back and stand up at the trail and have guests facing the woods and use that as a backdrop for the ceremony. That's very popular in the fall, in October, whenever the leaves are changing into very bright, vibrant colors up there. The wall that you can see in the woods at the top of the hill is where the bridal party would stand behind before they come down the trail walking between the lights to any of the three setups. The white doors that you can see at the top of the hill are an additional rental item that we offer. We'll bring those out and set them up. That, that additional rental is a $150 option. We do have a vehicle that will drive the bridal party around and drop you off behind this wall. So that way the bride can get up here without, any, without anyone seeing her dress. The green Jeep pickup that's over here will stay, it stays there. You're, you have the option of decorating it however you like. Uh, we've had people set it up as a, a gift drop-off area, guest registration area, 
a lot of pictures taken with it with the bride and the groom. The gray Toyota in the background is the vehicle we use to drive the bridal party around and drop them off on the top of the hill. So we can get four, four people in there at one time. So we can take two trips if we need to. As far as parking in the gravel parking area, we can get 35 cars. After that, we'll park in the field where the Toyota is, down the driveway, and on the other side of the barn in the field over there. We have a capacity to park of about 80 cars, which is pushing 200 people. We will have two people here to direct traffic as guests come in and show them where to park. We'll walk down this way and we'll look, take a look in our, our decorations room where we have extra storage. The things we have in there varies because people are always leaving new stuff with us, so we never know what's really going to be here. Pretty much any Pinterest idea you can think of can come from here. We also keep our extra tables in here. There's some rectangular tables. There are some signs and pallets and things. We do have a child's table. So we have eight little kid chairs and eight, or in a small table for kids if you want to use that. The other end of this bit room is under the white cloths is where we keep our tablecloths. We do have white floor length tablecloths to fit all of our tables. It is the second thing that would be an additional cost on top of the rental. Our dry cleaning cost for tablecloths is $13 a piece, so that's what we charge people to use the tablecloths. Other than those two things, doors and tablecloths, everything else is included in the price of the rental. the other end of this building and look at the guys dressing area. Our rentals are full days. So on the day of the event, you have use of the property starting at 9 a.m. until 11 p.m. On Saturdays, we offer a day and a half rental. So you can come in on Friday from three until nine. That gives you the opportunity to set up, move your tables around, decorate inside, and then Saturday's a whole lot easier if you don't have to do all that the morning up. We do have heat and air in both of the dressing areas so we can keep you comfortable while you're in here. If you're looking at an August event, we do not have air conditioner in the barn. So it can get very warm in there in the summertime. We do have heat in the barn, so if you're looking at something in the wintertime in January, February, we can make the barn comfortable for that time of year. Let's walk around this way and we'll take a look at where the girls are ready. So two additional things that we like to include in our rentals. One is a planning meeting, so we'd like for you to come back 30 to 45 days before the event. Bring everybody that you're going to be working with you that day, your caterers, your DJs, your volunteers. Have them look at the barn, see how you want to set things up. We have about 10 questions that we ask. Uh, one is, 
what time is the event going to be, how many people are you expecting, how many tables and chairs do you want in the barn, mainly things we need to know so we know what kind of staffing to have at the barn on the day of the event, how many people to have direct traffic, things of that nature. So we'll have tables and chairs in the barn whenever you get here. So you're not having to carry chairs from the storeroom up to the barn. You have your people arrange them however you want and set up and do all the decorating. So we're pretty much a DIY venue. You can customize your event however you want to do it. The other thing that we include in our rentals is cleanup at the end of the event. So on the end of the night of the event, we will come in when you get done we sweep, we mop, we haul off the garbage, we wipe down tables and chairs, we clean bathrooms, we clean the dressing areas. So you're not responsible to do any of that stuff. The main thing y'all would need to do is whatever decorations you want to keep would leave it with you at the end of the night. Anything that you leave with us, we'll put in the storeroom for somebody else to use. The only thing we do not clean is the kitchen. We don't like doing dishes. So your caterer typically will include that as part of their, their bid for catering. We'll go in here and this is where the girls get ready. So as you can see when you come in, we do have a full restroom for the girls to use. We do not have a guys a restroom in the guys area, so they'll have to go up to the barn if they need to use the restroom. If you come in this way, we've got a small kitchenette with an extra refrigerator. If you need to use the refrigerator to store extra food for your event, you're welcome to do that. Sit in the saddle, have lunch while you're getting ready. In the smaller room, we have a hair and makeup station and places to hang dresses. Dolly Parton's gonna watch over you while you get ready. come into the main room of the building where the bride gets ready. We have another hair and makeup station so you can have two girls getting ready at the same time. We also have ring lights here, a couple of extra chairs. There's a couch on the other end for the girls that are waiting to get ready can sit comfortably. Again, we do have heat and air in, in this building so we can keep everybody comfortable while, while they're getting ready. If we're driving you around, We'll park the truck outside of the front door on the house. It'll be sitting right at the end of the steps. So y'all will come out, get in the front seat, and then we'll drive around the property and come in the back side to take the bride around. So unless you have paparazzi hiding in the bushes back here, nobody's gonna see you before you come down the aisle. As you can see, we're coming out the, the same way we went into the house. And then we're look, coming around and we'll see the front side of the barn. We have a lot of send-offs coming down the concrete drive to the barn with the, the door and the tools and lights as a backdrop for that. You can do sparklers send-offs, you can do bubbles, uh, of course bird seed, things of that nature. We do not allow fireworks that go up in the air, any kind of bonfires. We don't want live candles inside the barn, so we, we request that you use the battery-powered votive candles if you're gonna have candles in your centerpieces. Of course, we do have exceptions for sterno warmers, for the food warmers, and if you're gonna be inside for the barn for the ceremony, that, that's an option that we have in case of bad weather or things of that nature, if it's cold. We, can, we will make an exception for a unity candle if you want to do that. Our main concern is centerpieces that have a live flame that can be knocked over and, and burn the barn down. We do not have a preferred vendors list, so you can use any vendor you want to for catering and florists and DJs. We do have some recommendations that we'd be happy to make of people that have been here and then did a good job. If you come see us in person, we've got a lot of pictures that you can look through also. But look on our Facebook page and keep up with that because a lot of the pictures that we have in our book we'll be putting on Facebook or on our website or making changes to those too.
Well, thanks for coming out and, and walking around with me. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Uh, our coffee, our email is thecoffeebarn at gmail.com. You can give us a call at 423-665-5041. Also, text that number if you want to text that number also. Uh, but if you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. We'll help out any way we can. If you want to schedule a live tour to come out and see the, the property, video is great, but it doesn't do it justice. So shoot us an email, go on our website. You can make an appointment directly from our website to, to, to come out and view the barn. You can also see our calendar of availability on the website as well as our pricing. Y'all have, thank you, have a good day.